Hello, my name is Leighton Swenson, and I'm going to be talking to you today about the midpoint formula. And basically, just to help you and I both understand this better, I've decided to break this up into three different questions. Uh, first of all, what is the midpoint formula, obviously? Second of all, what do the results of the formula tell us? And third, when would we ever need this in real life? So, what is the midpoint formula? Midpoint formula, really pretty basic. You just take the old or the new quantity minus the old quantity, divide it by the average of the quantities of those two. Then you divide that by the same thing with the price. So the new price minus the old price divided by the average price. And that will give you your price elasticity of demand. Very important to have that. So a lot of people say, well, why don't we just use this formula, percentage change in quantity over percentage change in price. Uh, really, it will do pretty much the same thing for you, but in this case, you would have to calculate first the percentage change in quantity and then the percentage change in price, and then you could do that. So really, it's just another way to do this, and it'll help you uh, to keep things a little bit more uh, error-free, I guess you could say. And second question, so what do the results tell us? Tell us three things. First, if the absolute value is greater than one, it is elastic. If the absolute value is less than one, it is inelastic. And if the absolute value equals one, it is unit elastic. So those are the three basic things that we can get from our results of from the midpoint formula. Third question, very important question, when will I ever use this in real life? Really, you kind of have to ask yourself that, I've, I've, thought, I've decided, because you can pretty much use it any time you need to make critical decisions about raising or lowering your prices, uh, whether it be a small lemonade stand or whatever you want to do, but uh, it really uh, it really is apl applicable in a lot of different situ situations and scenarios. So, that's the midpoint formula. Have fun with it, and that's the end.